Hey, buddies, Potato McWhiskey here, and welcome to Let's Play Civilization VI as the Phoenicians. So, uh, unit needs orders over here. We have a couple of caravels sitting in the water that we need to take care of. We also have a uh, quadrireme over here. Now, I'm kind of torn between... Yeah, it looks like the caravel fleet will actually do more damage, so we're going to go do that. I think we're going to try and just do a little bit of damage to Radia's Empire. We might swing around and take out Halab as well. Uh, no, I mean, uh, where is the continent map mode? Now, uh, somebody had the very bright idea to tell me that, oh, you know, I could have kept these cities if I had just simply moved my capital to be in a city that is on this continent. However, um, I think they're very, very, very much mistaken. And you have to be very careful when you make these sort of recommendations to me because uh, I actually don't have a completed Kothon on this continent. None of these cities have finished their Kothons, so I actually can't even do the project that would have allowed me to keep that city. So just keep that sort of stuff in mind. I know you guys, uh, you guys always often have like the right idea, but you um, kind of miss like just a couple of little tiny pieces of the crucial information that goes into the decision making process that leads you to say something that uh, is not actually um, incredibly useful. But just uh, thought I would address that little one there. And it uh, looks like he wants peace, but I definitely want to try and kill a couple of his cities just to kind of, you know, it's not going to cost me anything to, uh, whoa. It's not going to cost me anything to hurt him. No, I don't want that. It's Yeah, so it's not going to cost me anything to actually hurt him. So I may as well. It will probably get me a few grievances with him. But uh, that's not a big deal. So we completed the intelligence agency in Ugarit. And I think, I want to see if I can find a good place to maybe steal money. This is a very early spy, actually, which I'm pretty happy with. Uh, I think we'll go to Nidoros and start stealing there. We have completed the intelligence agency. I definitely would like to get the commercial hub up. I'd also like to get the lighthouse to be able to secure myself that trade route. I also need some trade routes, uh, but I also need to get the shipyard out. So we're going to get to work on that and maybe look to get the trade routes in other places. For example, over here, we've already completed uh, the shipyard and stuff like that. I definitely still do want to place a couple of districts in here. Um, I think an entertainment district would be a decent one to place. And there's a good spot right here. Just to kind of lock in its price. But for now, you're going to go ahead and get to work on building stuff like traders because that's an empire wide piece of infrastructure. Uh, in terms of what I want to do with my grrr, uh, envoys, I don't really see much value in getting suzerainty. Of Valletta, although this would allow me to purchase city center buildings with um, things. I'd much rather just make sure I kept control of Bologna. And I'll probably station my military, uh, my navy over here at some point. So, shouldn't shouldn't take us too long. In fact, I could probably get these boats moving. They're almost certainly going to be more useful just moving around taking out Halam. This caravel will certainly be able to take out Hatton on its own and significantly damage uh, that. So I would like to do aquaculture with Liang. I also want to get tax collector with Reina. Um, the question is, right, I could go for aquaculture, but there are better... Like, I could invest a whole ton of builder charges into fisheries. Um, it's prob probably worth it to do it in a single city. And I would have to kind of like make a decision about which city I do that in. Um, so ideally, right, if I understand that the fishery is better if it's near other fishing boats, right? Plus one, two, plus one production is the surveyor governor with the agriculture promotion. Um, plus yields one food, plus one additional food of adjacent to a sea resource. So yeah, we ideally want to find a city that has a decent number of sea resources in shallow water here's uh, a good option here a card and this is actually a great city too because it lacks a lot of production and um, we could also build things like you know um if we wanted to we could get an aqueduct we could get a decent amount of housing in here so we'll oh there's niter there that's an excellent because this city really really needed production but we might put um liang over there and just do a whole bunch of aquaculture stuff because there's quite a few tiles in here that we could turn into aquaculture tiles and then they would give us plus one production and just generally be really 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 good for us so 
if we're going to do that, I would like to buy the shipyard in here. So that means we're just going to manually move Liang over there. And this is a cod. A cad. Right. Uh, let's go ahead and get you to fortify there. That's all we need you to do. And we'll put a farm here as well. So we have a nice little farm. Uh, quadrangle or a farm. Um, can't remember the name of that sheep. Farm diamond. So we can just step into the city now that we've tanked a bit of damage. He did, you know... He did steal a builder from me, but, you know, I stole his entire empire's uh, livelihood. So we're just going to raise his cities. Now, normally I wouldn't raise cities, right? That's not something I would uh, do, but just, you know, I felt like it might be the right move here. I've got 11 production in here, and uh, so 26 turns. It's not a very good shipyard, so it's probably better just to hard build this. Um, I could get a granary and let the city continue to grow. It doesn't really have any better tiles to work if it were to grow. So I think we're just going to work on the shipyard to get the production up, because it's a significant production upgrade. We're also going to go ahead and get aquaculture on Liang. And we're probably just going to stay at aquaculture and then use her to develop the sea tiles over here in Akkad. So I've got a two... Oh, I actually got that builder back, I just remembered. There's a niter tile over here that I want to go get. There's also a missionary in here that I should should kill, but, you know, <laughs> what can we do about it? Uh, right, uh, go ahead and take a moment to heal. Whoa, what happened to my mouse? I feel like I feel like my mouse got, like, way more sensitive there. Hold on. Okay. It feels like there's some kind of mouse acceleration going on. I need to, like, lower the, um, lower the sensitivity. Yeah, this feels way more sensitive than it usually is. Uh, so we have the lighthouse here. Do I want to go for the market? The shipyard in here would take too long. So this is definitely a place where I want to purchase the shipyard. It's not an amazing shipyard. It's a plus six, which is decent. Um, I suppose in the meantime, we are almost capped on growth in here. So getting a granary in here would be very, very nice. Amazingly, someone told me to get the, sh the the fish in Bibelos, which I already did. I'm a little confused. Like, sometimes the comments... Guys, sometimes the comments you leave on my videos leave me very, very confused. Um, so we have a... Wow, major defeat, really. Even though we have promotions. So I will attack with you for... Well, can you contribute to the surrounding? Yeah, so this will be a sure win. And then this will be a minor defeat, but you'll get a promotion. Excellent. And then you're going to kill that Quadrireme. Unit needs orders over here. We've already built that. Let's put a mine here. We've almost got our coal power plant, which is really nice too. Wait, what? Oh, I guess a Caraval came out of the fog and insta-killed this guy? That's a little weird. Can you become an ironclad over here? Maybe you can. That would start burning coal, and I really don't want to burn coal. Can you kill this guy? I'm kind of blown away by how he managed to do that. To kill that in one hit would have... Like, it was pretty healthy. I don't think there was any ranged attacks involved. It's very surprising. I will, I will readily admit that. It was very, 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 very surprising. It might be time to take peace. Uh, Halab has walls now, so we're just going to go ahead and peace him out. Let's see. Give me a significant amount of gold. Let's see, Well, I want to make sure I'm only taking the ones that I actually need. Coffee, I have pearls. I could use sugar. I could use tobacco. Um... You won't give me that. That's fine. How about some gold? Right, the other. There's 22 gold per turn. We take peace. All good. We won't take a delegation, but we did blow up a couple of his cities, which significantly hurts his empire. In fact, we can go up here and see uh, that we have pretty badly hurt them. So this this is this is going to be a very very good game for us. Although it's kind of going to be a bit of a passive game. We completed the shipyard in the capital, which is giving us a lot. 
I would like to get to university at some point. Um, and it's kind of yields are so high that it's hard to justify, it's hard to like justify not getting it. I could also get the commercial hub in here just to continue to force my gold income up. Um, and I think I will place the commercial hub here because having a really strong gold income really appeals to me when going for a scientific victory. I do really, 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 really need some more traders though because I'm sitting back on like so many trade routes right now that it needs to be rectified and adjusted. Um, this city has just so much growth but nothing really else going for it which is a bit of a problem but it's one that we can um, work around we're gonna purchase the granary in here just to keep it growing um, and I'd like to work on the dam I'm gonna get the dam first I really want that piece of infrastructure done but yeah, if we go if we go full go if we get a really good gold income going, we can do stuff like fully upgrade Reina so that we can purchase some extra districts in the late game. In particular, we want to be able to purchase the spaceport. Uh, we completed the the thingy here. I want to get the shipyard because it's a plus eight shipyard here, which is practically doubling the production of this city, which is really really good. Um, I'm going to get the amphitheater because I need the borders to grow and then I'll be able to maybe make a better decision about where I want to place my next district in here. There are some really good spots like for here. This would boost the. Um, harbor. Wait, is there harbors that get boosted? Government Plaza City. Yeah, this would give an extra plus one to my harbor, which would bring this up to a 10, size 10 shipyard. I'd have to buy that tile, so I might wait. I guess I could place it and it would be worth it. I'll get I'll get the amphitheater first. I'll get the amphitheater first. Uh, over here, we completed the campus. We do want to get the Kothon up. We also want to repair the walls, so I think we'll get that done. Just in case we go to war again with this guy, we'll have fully built walls. Um... There's quite a few questions about how we want to go forward, and I definitely think a monument is a good move in here, so I might look to purchase that in here next turn, uh, if I remember. Sometimes I'm a bit forgetful on that sort of side of the coin. But yeah, I want to be careful about spending too much coal, because I don't want to cause too... I want to try to minimize the amount of global warming that happens, so I have the best chance to uh, mitigate it, because I'm actually really far ahead of the AI, so I'm in a position where I, ca I can mitigate the... Um, I can definitely mitigate the, the effects of global warming, right? We're going to do a bit of international trading. I need to think about who I want my allies to be. Because I'm not far from getting the card that makes trading with my allies better. Yeah, here it is. Diplomatic service. I'm getting mercantilism for privateers because I want to build three of those. Although that's not going to work by the time we get electricity. So that might be a bit of a moot point. We will be going for early seaports though. Won't be using oil power, but I think early seaports has a really, really uh, strong implication for a lot of gold, food and housing for my empire. Um... Right, more traders? Yes. Okay, we completed the outer defenses. I'm going to purchase the monument in here to try and boost the rate at which tiles are required in the city. I'm also going to grab a library and I'm going to trade with Nidoros again. Although there is a city-state that I could trade with to get an envoy with. I also need to uh, put a lumber mill there. Thankfully that guy has exactly the amount of charges that we needed. We're gonna hang out this, we're gonna have this navy hang out in Bologna as a defensive force. Um, yeah, I definitely wanna steal gold, but we're gonna do gain sources first. You can see we're very, very ahead in technology. I think this is the most ahead I've ever been in a deity game. Um, we definitely, we basically don't wanna get any more districts in here. We made that decision. We are just essentially going to continue to develop um, I'm going to go for the lighthouse into the shipyard because the shipyard is a really, really powerful building for me in terms of production and my empire. And again, the lighthouse is just the right move. I want to get those shipyards rolling. Our gold income is starting to not exactly skyrocket, but it's getting really, really strong just because of our position. Now, there is something to be said of having of should I have let um, the Bandar Brunei or Cardiff. One of these was a... 
uh, commercial city state, and it might have been worth it to keep them. But I think getting uh, like four free city, well, not four, like getting four cities out of the navy that I built, I think that like really pushed me along to be in a very, very strong position. Um, so, do I have any cards in that I don't care about? Well, the, I should change colonization. It's 85 gold, so we're not colonizing anymore. I think we've made the decision that no more settling. Um, so we can naturally um, change naval infrastructure up to a main policy card, and then we open up a uh, wild card policy. And I'm trying to think what would be a good one to get. Caravanseries isn't terrible. Um, settlers, industrial zones... Frescoes, plus four strength. Land surveyors, plus two gold, plus 30% production, yields gained from pillaging. Uh, I'm not seeing anything that really appeals to me too much right now. I think I might, I, I guess I could in theory go for civil prestige. Well, industrial zone adjacency bonuses actually really apply, apply very, very strongly in Baruta, which means that the coal power plant, when it is finished, um, I can't remember if this spreads, if this shares its production bonus, but it would mean my coal power plant is really, really powerful and that I have a really strong city. And I guess having one really, really strong city is better than just like getting a little bit of extra gold. Uh, in my opinion, because then that city can do a lot of empire-wide in infrastructure work, right? And one of those empire-wide infrastructure works that it's done is building a coal power plant. See, so yeah, I could trade with Laventa for a really low um, price, but I think we're just going to be looking for... We're looking to kind of boost our gold income uh, as much as possible. So getting those traders as empire-wide infrastructures are important. Uh, shipyard built in 20 turns actually isn't too bad. And it's only a plus six one, so we will do that. It is 20 turns. It's a, it's, it's, it's a decently long amount of time. Okay, there is my first call power plant. And now Beruda has 40 production, which is really, really strong. <sighs> strong man growth. Now, let me have a look at the layout of the city's tiles. Right. I would say this is okay for now. And you can do empire-wide infrastructure for me. Then you are going to wait there. I'm going to tell all these boats to kind of just hang out. With Joe. Wang out. All right, trade with Bologna. We are going to build some stuff. Do I need to do campus research grants? I think it's about time we either got the commercial hub or the university. Uh, the commercial hub would give me a lot of gold, which would in turn lead to me getting my harbors online a little bit sooner. So I'm going to go ahead and do that because I'm already doing really, really well in terms of science. So I think a little bit more science isn't super necessary, although it is my win condition. So maybe getting more science is really, really good. Science has a diminishing return. Pretty much every yield has a diminishing return. The more of it you have, like the less each point is worth. Um, so in here we have a few difficult choices. I could get the water mill that would give this city a decent amount of growth and production, but it doesn't really need growth or production right now. It's actually in a really good spot. I definitely could put an aqueduct there. It's already on fresh water though, so that doesn't really make a huge difference. Um, that would probably be better off as a neighborhood in the not too distant future. I could also build a dam. I don't really see a point to build a dam in here. It would be very, very good. I could also build the dam in my canal. Now, I could, in theory, cut this continent in half with a canal here, and then like a Panama Canal over here, like if I go into this place. You know, I could do the Panama Canal to here, and then put a canal there. Like, it doesn't really do a whole lot, but it, I guess it is fun to do. So we'll do it. Um, do we want to finish the shipyard first? Yes. It's only a plus four. 
Uh, let's see. I can purchase a shipyard, and I think we had made the decision that we were going to purchase a shipyard in here, because it's plus eight production, which means the city is now a lot stronger. Um... I definitely just need to start getting my culture up, so that's a little bit of a priority. Can you guys stop, like, waking up? I keep... I, I feel like I've told these guys to go into alert mode, like, a few times now. You want to buy some niter off me for diplomatic favor? Sure thing. I'll go for a one-for-one -one on that. Seems pretty reasonable to me. Your embassy is welcome. Have I unlocked the ability to actually get alliances yet? I don't... Yes, I have. Okay. So who do I want to get an alliance with? I think I'm going to go for an alliance with... Koopaboopay. Uh, do a cultural alliance with Coupe and I think I want to see if I can get friends with Norway so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give Norway some kind of gift I guess 30 diplomatic favor is like a really powerful gift and if we check the friendship status favorable trade deals plus 10 they'll be pretty happy about that now they're a little upset that I had that the other players have grievances against me but these are draining relatively quickly like it'll take like 10 20 turns for them to be gone we got a builder in here uh do I want to go ahead and build a university do I want to get the market I think the university is just a really high power level right now I also want to get the theater square this tile will eventually flood so that's something that I need to keep in mind um I don't think I need a canal I could do a canal there I don't think that's really worth it to do I think we're going to just get to work on a university to keep our science ball rolling. All uh, right, let's see here. We got a granary in Inuk. Uh, we really want the shipyard in here because this really, really helps the city out. We will spend some time just getting the market for now. We completed the trader over here in Baruta. We're going to send that to Tyre. We are doing what? I could get the pyramids. I guess that actually seems like a pretty reasonable deal. We can get it in six turns. It'll give me a free builder and make all my subsequent builders a lot better. I definitely want to be trading with Norway if I can because I'm trying to make them into my friend. You may buy my knighter if you wish. Uh, I'm going to vote for myself twice here. And I'm going to vote for Harbour Districts three times here. The Harbour won out. Thankfully, Coupe also voted for the Harbour. Uh, I voted for myself twice, so I spent a very, very small amount of diplomatic favour to get things that I actually really, really want. Because there's no way I'm going to be doing anything other than hard building seaports. So now I can actually make seaports a priority. Which is a very interesting position and is something that could never have happened without Gathering Storm. So that's very exciting and very strange and kind of a new experience. The question is, is Craftsman better than... it's? Def it was definitely better than the plus two gold, but is it better than the plus four? And I'm really not convinced it is. This is 40 gold right now. So I feel like this is just better. Especially when you consider that it's also faith. Uh, professional army, I'm going to go ahead and take logistics here just so I can move my builders around a little bit more effectively. We're in full economic mode. Uh, so now we have the uh, seaport. And it's time to start filling in our tech tree a little bit. Getting access to things like banks is going to be really, really useful here. Um, we are going to... Question, do I go for civil engineering here? It opens up some new options, so I think I will. Although I really want to get diplomatic service. I want to be able to get a spy. So we can build this shipyard in eight turns now, which is pretty reasonable, actually, when we think about it. Um, we're going to send a trade route to Norway. We're trying to improve our relationship with them. The Grievances modifier is coming down. Apparently he respects strong navies and doesn't consider my navy strong, which is a little bit confusing. But if you place that tile there, it makes it into a really, really powerful tile. We almost have enough money to purchase another harbour. I'm building. Okay, so we're going to be looking to build up our harbours because we've hit a really, really nice timing for harbour production. We are building some other stuff in the meantime. Uh... We've got the inner working knowledge of Nidoros, which means we can start stealing money from him. 
probably not a good idea to be stealing from someone who we want to be friends with, but, um, yeah. Just the way the cookie crumbles. I don't really want this great engineer, so I'm going to skip him. Uh, and I will grab this guy. So we got the amphitheater in Byblos. We're going to go ahead and get the seaport. I'm just going to use this guy up. I don't like micromanaging them. Right. I guess it's time to actually place that commercial hub, get to work in the seaport. You, on the other hand, have some responsibility to do what? I guess I could put a farm there. Or a lumber mill, give it plus one production, probably plus two in the not too distant future, or I could just place another farm, and get the city even more growth. Doesn't need more growth though. So he's denouncing me because he's upset. Choose production over here for sure. We want the shipyard. Uh this is plus six in a city that has really bad production, so I'm gonna just I'm just gonna purchase it. And then we'll get to work on the seaport. 19 turns is a pretty reasonable amount of time considering how early into the game it is that we're getting seaports up. So I'm okay with that actually. You want to buy some coal off me and you want to sell me some tobacco. I think I already have tobacco so I'd like just more gold off you. You can have that gold for, for sure. It's fine. I have a huge excess of it. Uh, we've got the bank. Like I mean I guess I could in theory like if I really wanted to exploit the game I could go in here and be like hey you want to buy some coal. Thanks for the gold. Well I guess not. Well maybe Arabia. Like, hey, you want some coal? Thanks for the money. Type thing. I think there's some coal exploits or something um, you can do. But we're not going to go out of our way to do those kind of exploits. I would also like to build sewers. i got to think about how do I get more of these boosts. Uh, urbanization is probably not going to happen. Uh, let's see. I definitely would like to head up to maybe get chemistry. Because there's quite a few places where a research lab would be very good. Um, for sure we need to get this built as soon as possible. It's like a major priority now that we have a plus 100% production into it for the next 26 turns. So we want to take advantage of that as much as possible. Uh, question is, do we want to take better spies or do we want to have better trade routes with our allies and i think i'd rather have the better trade route with allies and then try to turn maybe someone into an ally i need to be careful though i'm trying to get norway to be my friend but he kind of hates i don't understand he kind of hates my guts my grievances against saladin are draining fairly rapidly so he should in theory have a better trade opinion of me what if I were to send you another, like, 30 of this? Because this is kind of like a, a fungible currency that I don't care about. Like, if I just give you another gift. So the maximum is 10. All right, we learned useful information there. Uh, let's see. I mean, I guess I could also build Petra, but it seems kind of redundant. Wow, somebody actually stole the pyramid off me. Mental. Absolutely mental. Right, I guess I could do projects. I could also build builders in here, which would significantly boost my empire. It kind of makes me want to put Liang in here. But she's off somewhere else, providing another city with benefits. I think this is just a straight up upgrade card. So we'll go for that. Choose production over here. We got our theater square, but we want to work on our seaport. I'm going to try and get them online, because that's going to result in a significant amount of food production, housing, all that sort of good stuff. Like, the, the seaports, I think, are, are going to be a big deal. Alright, let's purchase the shipyard in here, because the city has really bad production. And I want to try and get every city that I can working on the seaports while we have 100% production towards them. Uh, so let's see... We'll get you working on it soon, don't you worry about that. You need to actually change your production to the Kothon. You're never going to do it in time without uh, help in the form of a builder providing you with production. Man, these 
piles are insane. You want to buy coal? Sure thing. Those are resources that I don't need, so I'll just happily sell them. Uh, for now... I like the idea of building Anchor Watt here. Gives that city something to do. Get the seaport going. Get your Kothon up. Let's get that Niter up over there. Put the mine on that tile. That's going to significantly boost the rate at which this city builds. I guess just like extra housing is nice, and that's kind of what I want the anchor what for. Uh, we'll put that there. So now you're working three really amazing production tiles. And we'll go ahead and slap a mine down there as well. I feel like the anchor what is one of those uh, wonders that's just like kind of worth getting sometimes. It's not like super worth going for, but it's kind of worth getting um, in most situations because it just makes your entire empire just that little bit more taller and more populated. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get the seaports up. Uh, I'm already really going for the seaport strategy specifically because I have this plus 100% production towards harbor buildings. I would almost never do this, but it actually turns out to like result in an absolutely insane amount of gold if I can pull it off. Which is really cool in my opinion. Once you go hang out on that uh, coal tile, put that farm there, that's our the fishery there. That's going to make this city start to grow a little bit better. And get that little bit of production to get this going just that little bit quicker too. There's a buy room down here to get out of there. We are going to claim the great scientist here. I need to find a natural wonder with more than one tile. Probably how long bay is my best bet. Send you over there. Siphon funds at a higher level. Excellent. That's exactly what I was hoping for. You should really be working on this. I have more trade routes available. That's something I need to work on. You want to sell me olives? Sure thing. Diplomatic favor doesn't really bother me right now, although I have been kind of trading it away very aggressively. So I need to be careful. Norway, do you want to be friends? He has an overall positive opinion of me. I just feel like the AI doesn't really uh, reassess. What if I sent you 100 gold? Yeah, favorable trade deals. Like the AI just doesn't really assess every turn, so it kind of takes a while for them to realize, oh hey, I actually like this guy. Uh, we definitely want to put farms in and up and around here, so we'll get to work on that. We want you to continue to auto-explore for me, thank you. And uh, we are starting to emit some, you know, some coal thingies. There's a bit of deforestation that's making it worse, but, you know, these are the things you just have to deal with sometimes. I think we're going to get that. I want to save up my gold so that I can purchase more harbors when they become available. Or shipyards, rather. There's the shipyard in here. For sure, we're working on those. I've really never been in this position, so this is a very unique game scenario uh, for me at the moment. So I'm a little... I, I don't want to say I'm out of my depth, but I'm kind of in unknown waters. Norway is continuing to just poop on uh, Korea. Looks like Korea got a really bad start this game. So yeah, let's go ahead and get the seaport. We've got 19 turns of production left over here. You just finished your lighthouse shipyard combo. Um, you spent three turns building that.
what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the console production thing to make it so that the game doesn't think thinks the city has already done something. God damn it. I still do wish um, things got cheaper to purchase as you put production into them. It would be just, just a nice little thing, I feel. Um, yeah. Farm tetrahedron or whatever it's called. <laughs> Farm diamond, that's the one. World Congress, a special World Congress, one that I'm not involved in. I don't know why I'm not involved in it, but okay. I'm always confused by that, maybe because I can't see the city that's involved. Um, so over here, we are going to purchase the shipyard and then start building it. This will just be done in time. We've got a couple of other cities that we're going to need to do a lot of purchasing in. But you can see our gold income now is starting to become insane. As some of these shipyards are going to start finishing. That's kind of like it's just it's it's I'm gonna be told I'm like, like again I'm I'm in a I'm in a scenario that I've I've never been in before, so this is unknown uncharted waters and it's very exciting and kind of like interesting actually now that I think about it. Okay. A common mistake that people make when trying to design something completely foolproof. So, uh, let's see. Neighborhoods are definitely something that I want to get my hands on. Uh, choose production over here. Be completed the seaport, and that will significantly boost the amount of gold available from these tiles. Um, I'm not going to put fisheries on these because there's better um, coastal improvements later on in the game. I kind of wish that Mexico City or whatever it's called is in this game, so I could get the old Toronto bonus of you know production on coast. Um, in here, I definitely need more traders. I'm going to not promote you. I want to promote Reyna. Where am I going to put Reyna? I think it would be good to put her in preferably a city that has like a really good potential population. Like Cardiff is a good spot. There we go. Although Cardiff isn't a good spot because it doesn't have the... Um, this. So in fact, Liang would probably be better suited for Cardiff specifically. So we're going to do a little bit of a change of plan here. We're going to put Liang in Cardiff and we're going to put Reyna in um, Akkad. And the specific reasoning here is um, Liang, even though there are, yes, there are less fishing boats here and I've already built a fishing thing. Um, Cardiff does not have a commercial hub here beside its harbour, whereas Akkad does, and one of Reyna's promotions is specifically benefiting cities that have uh, commercial hubs and harbours, and when you build them in this specific little uh, commercial hub harbour triangle, it creates a really, really good potential for a lot of gold gain in a specific city. We have an empty policy slot, which I think is the builder one, so we're going to slap that in right now and confirm that because I'm pretty happy with all of these the campus adjacency yep all that is very very good to me okay you want to buy two of my luxuries I will sell those to you no problem sure thing a bit of a gentle eruption it still pillages farms um, so what have you done I think you can actually build this stuff on your own and it's other cities that are going to need help. I mean, we could build a canal here. I don't see a real point to do it other than just for the meme. We're going to place a commercial hub there. Um, we're going to get to work on a builder. We are also... You're going to kill there at long last. Finally, he decided it was time to attack you. And we are going to get a free thousand signs to finish sanitation. Medicine, education... We got another trade route. Norway, 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 Norway. Why don't you get my resident embassy? Why don't you declare a friendship? Why don't you make an alliance with me? In particular, I want a research alliance so that my trade routes to you get me extra science. And then I'm going to go here. And now we get a bunch of food. And so we need to, what we want to do is try to identify cities that are relatively weak and need help um, to develop into better cities. So for example, 
Uh, but for now, I'll just trade from the capital. We'll we'll kind of reassign those things a little bit later. Plus 100 gold. Let's see, if we got another trader. Yeah, more, 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 more traders. I do still need to build a spy, um, but we have a lot of trade routes available to us. We are getting these seaports up, which is really cool. I really like how um, just kind of these small, well, uh, not small, but these kind of like emergent situations have kind of just somehow managed to sync up with an opportunity for me to exploit in order to build these seaports way earlier than I would ever consider building them, purely because I have a plus 100% production bonus to them, which is going to result in a lot of gold for me over the course of the game. All right, I'm going to call that the end of the episode, though. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying this series so far. Please remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Remember to leave a like if you want to directly support my channel. And remember to leave a comment if you want to give me your feedback. Other than that, I want to say I love you all very much and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.